God, we are here to lift the name of Jesus with this song that calls him our worthy God, that calls him worthy the lamb that was slain for us. So join us as we lift him up today. Lord, we thank you for your sweet spirit. Thank you. In your presence, oh Lord, there is fullness of joy. And we thank you that we have a lovely day that you've given us to enjoy the space, to enjoy life, oh God. We thank you for breath. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy that are new. Even all the more this day, oh God, to have a moment of thanksgiving in your presence today, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Welcome to our to devotion. It's, it's so lovely to again get this opportunity to share together and also to get to pray together. And this week we are looking at the hindrances of prayer. And today we'll be looking at the unconfessed sin. How sin sometimes can hinder us from hearing the word of God. And in the book of Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1, and for the Bible says, surely the arm of the Lord is not too short. I love the fact that the scripture here begins by telling us the arm of the Lord that is mighty, that is powerful. It is not short to save. So this arm of God saves. This arm of God is in the business of looking for a heart, looking for a committed person to save. Nor his ear too dull to hear. Many of us, sometimes, depending on the season, depending on where we are at, sometimes you could be in a noisy place and you're not able to hear well. Or the person who is speaking could be speaking in a fairly low volume or low tone that you're not very able to hear. Or in a noisy place that you're not able to distinguish clearly the voice or the, the message that you need to. And in this place, the, the, the scripture is saying, God's ears are not too dull to hear. So whether it's a whisper, whether it's a shout, whether it's a normal tonation, God is able to hear. 
But the Bible says in verse 2, but your iniquities have separated. So there is the arm that saves, there is the ear that hears. But then Isaiah goes ahead and says, the iniquities have separated you from your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. So he gives us three things, that there is iniquity that separates, that sets us away from God. When something is separated, it is away from so iniquities cause us to be separated from God. Hidden sin within us also cause God to hide his face from us. That, that means if you're separated and if God has hidden himself from us because of our sins, no matter how much we pray, no matter what we use to speak to him, no matter what level, whether it's a whisper, a normal donation, or even a cry, the Bible here says he will not hear any of those. For your hearts are stained with blood. So he continues to say, there could be the shedding of blood, innocent blood. Your fingers with guilt, the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, are we involved in things that would cause God to say, your hearts are guilty. Your lips have spoken falsely, meaning even the things we process and the things we say, if we are falsely accusing others, if we are giving false witness, that again can make God to be separated from us. Our tongues utter matters wicked things. There are sometimes when you find people saying things that need not to have been said and they seem not even to care and they seem not even to feel ashamed about it. They seem not to consider the environment in which they are saying what they have to say. Those things, as much as they hurt people, they also hurt God. First of all, he says, no one calls for justice, knowing very well that we can be in an inst instance where we are not even calling for justice. No one pleads a case with integrity, meaning we care not whether we are pure, whether we are doing the right things before God, and that in itself can cause God to be separated from us. They really empty their garments. So the Bible says very clearly in the book of 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive. That means God is looking for me and for you to come to him. And when we realize we have sinned, we can come before him and confess our sins. And he is faithful to purify us. And that means we then turn away. Turn away from our wicked ways, turn away from our iniquities, turn away from anything that causes, whether it is in the doing, in the speaking, in the thinking, in our thought process, that we may remain pure so that when we call on God, then he will hear us. I would want us to pray today. And as we pray, I ask for you and for me, we take a moment and search our hearts. Our human righteousness is like filthy lags before the Lord. But I would want us to pray and ask God, search me, O God. See if there be any wicked way and cause me to repent and to turn away from it. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We want to thank you because, Lord, you're not only a God who points at us when we error, but you are a God of love who is forever there. Lord, inviting us to your space and reminding us that your arm is strong, strong to save, strong to sustain, strong to keep, strong to give victory, strong in every way. And you also remind us that your ear are always inclined to the cry of the righteous. Father, how I pray that today, God, even as we come confessing our sins, that you will help us not to hold sin in our heart. For if we do so, you will not hear our prayer. I am asking today, God, that you, you would, by your Holy Spirit, cause each one of us to search, to get a moment and search within our heart. If there be any wicked thought, if there be any wicked thing that we have committed, if there be any wicked way that we have uttered, oh God, that we will turn away, we will confess and come before you who is faithful, who is loving God, who is able to lift us, who is able to cover our sins and to forgive our sins, Lord. And once forgiven, Father, that we will be a people that will walk in righteousness so that whenever we call you, 
when we come to you, God, when we lift our voices, when we lift our hearts in prayer, oh God, when we lift our hearts even to praise you, oh God, our praising, our prayers, Lord, our singing will not go in vain. That you are here that is so attentive will hear each one of us. And Lord, when you hear, when we call you, you are a God who responds. Father, I'm praying that this day, you will be a people, we'll be in that platform, in that posture, in that position, Oh God, where we can call on you, where we can search our hearts and allow the Holy Spirit of the living God to cause us to turn away from things that are not right with you. God, I am praying because the Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall turn away from their wicked ways and call on me, I will hear them and I will heal their Lord. Father, how we desire that you heal us as individuals, that we turn away from our wicked ways, that we turn away from our iniquities, oh God. And I'm asking for the grace of God upon us, Lord, especially we, your people, we who are called by your name, oh God, that will be a people that will stop and look inward and consider the way in which we are walking with you. Father, that we do not put your name to shame and we do not walk as a people that you have called, yet we are not walking right with you. I'm asking for your grace, O oh God, and I'm asking for your mercy upon us, Father. And I want to thank you because if we confess, you say, you are faithful to forgive. Thank you for the forgiveness, O oh God, and thank you for the grace to walk tall again, to walk in your grace again, to walk in your purity again, and to be able to cry, Amber, Father, and for you to hear us, Lord, and respond to our prayers. We thank you this day. Father, I'm committing every one of us, even as we go about our duties today, as we go out to work, oh God, to our businesses, Lord, to our designated areas, I am asking that the grace of God and the hand of God will be upon us, oh God, that you'll cause us to be a people that are going to be effective in what we do and are people that are going to be proud that the heart of God is upon us to doing the right thing. That even Lord, as we witness with our, with our, with our conduct, it will draw men to yourself. So we thank you for the grace and we thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit upon our lives, even as we go throughout the week. In Jesus name, we give thanks. Amen. Thank you so much. It was nice having you for this prayer. And I pray that you have a productive week. May the righteousness of God reign over your life to his glory and to his honor. Amen. Seeking you as a precious jewel, Lord, to give up but be a fool. You are my all in all. Jesus. Taking my sin.